Welcome everyone, BJ Weiler here with you for day 363 of USA 2. And we are almost there. We are pretty much at the end of this age. Less than 200,000 uh, glory points left. For House 13, wins the honors. Got here. Nothing that helps me. How about here? Nothing that helps me. Nothing that helps me. Nothing that helps me. I think I scouted this guy, didn't I? No, I did not. I don't think that's going to matter. It's crabby. And he's a prince, so that's going to be a big guy. There's one in Cortez this morning that I managed to nail, but... Other than that, not much luck. Scouts. Ah, that's why I scouted that this morning too. Oh. Hmm. You know what? He doesn't have a whole lot of archers, comparatively speaking. That one might actually be doable if I have a large enough army. Problem is, I don't think I do because I've sent myself most of the uh, parish reinforcements now. So, basically sending the parish army to reinforce my castles and to see if they'll actually uh, stick around after the age change. Hopefully by keeping them in as reinforcements for myself and other villages, I was, I, I've also sent them to uh, Venom's... So, uh, looted up Venom here, and Dragon Soul, since they are also in my, uh, faction. Spread the love around a little bit. Or, well, faction, relatively speaking, since I have gone to House 13 temporarily for the end of the age. Is review the bandit camp attacks that we have done thus far. And I've got no scouts around all my scouts there. Oh, that's right, they're already out getting meat. Alright, you know what? This is a good chance to make sure we're all caught up here. Everybody. Everybody. Okay, so I need two scouts and Thea Melosa. And that's it, just Thea Melosa needs a couple of scouts, so what can we do here? We can uh, knock off the wood. Alright, good. Let's review what we've got here. Okay, there we go. The enemy arriving, of course, and all being vanquished later on. This guy. This was another one I scouted. Where is he at? Let's try it again. Where is he at on the map? Okay, so that guy there in Kirkland. Taxed up by diplomacy, good, thank you. The troops advanced in large numbers, thanks for letting me know. Stash forge, don't oh, have about that. Bandit camp scouted, this would be the one. No, else too, so. As we can see. Oh, I think this one, this one might be doable for Navajo Dam. It's mostly peasants, and they're easily dispatched. The question is, how many troops do I have left? We want 
Entrance final attack, thank you. Enemy is vanquished and enemy arrives. I presume that's arriving in Cortez. Again, so it was only, what, yeah, that was it. Three or four days since it was vanquished in Cortez, I think. Everybody else is clear of siege camps. We got Puss Puss. Yeah, so everybody else. Oh, Navajo Dam still has a siege camp. Oh, that's right, I sent them out too. After that. Mineral, that's gonna be a big guy too. Any taboo? Yeah, probably. Actually, no, I think I rescouted him too. Yes, I did. Alright, let's see what we got here. 70 and two in Cortez. 15 at the Amalosa. Nice and easy. Surprising. Oh yes, the cat and the baby. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll see what we've got left in Navajo Dam as we take this guy down. Mm. Okay, I see how much more I can build up. Navajo Dam I know had maxed out the... Uh, has the maximum army size. See here, reinforcing, so we are short seven. And unfortunately, we can't send catapults to reinforce. But we can. But as long as we have troops to send with the catapults, we can send the catapults up to attack. So having seven archers sounds good on that front. Uh, at least we can make some use of those catapults. So Cortez, I think, has the biggest available army at this point, because I haven't sent the rest of the troops to Venom's two villages yet. Monument rocks, nothing. We are maxed out right now. Uh, Navajo Dam, five. That would be one of those guys, and four of those guys. So good, that gives us a little bit more. So 40 pikemen and 69 archers with 10 pults, cats, 10 catas. And nobody here in Pinarolosa. All reinforcing, all in my village right now, since I'm the only one in Pinarolosa. Good for Trinitaria. Keep waiting for them to come back. So let's review some of these attacks here. Yeah. Snake attacks. And we lost Source and this is in Blue Hill. So food, no Iggy. How did he win? Wow, oh, that was so close. Could easily won that with a few more archers placed. Well, now that we've got the troops to do it. is defeated in the Himalosa.
Let's see what we got here. I trimmed if you did the rat, good. The Amelosa again defeats the rats, good. The Amelosa again defeats the rats. Let's see what we got here. Oh yes, we attacked a nice big wolf lair from Cortez. That uh, one I had scouted earlier. and one pikeman, so that's actually pretty good results there. Vanquished, vanquished. Another wolf lair. Teeny tiny fella, relatively speaking. Yeah, lost one pikeman there. Navajo down. Then the attacks. The win as usual. Just a couple of losses. See Melosa, Tantanias here in Blue Hill. Few more losses, but another win. Nice bits of honor there. Which pumps us up over 10 million now. And ticking away, as you can see. So, obviously, I'm saving up honor. At this point, I might as well wait until the next age. Actually, wait until I can get my castles better, better built up for defense against uh, even stronger attacks. So these are actually my troops from Blue Hill, or from Tantanitis, rather. My teeny tiny army, so obviously I gotta build up my castles and build up my army before I decide to rank up. Obviously I had to use these guys since I don't have Parish army available. out. Easy peasy. And let's see the snake attack here. Oh, we defeated the snake. This was Tanara over in Monument Rocks. Let's take a look. Wow, we've got like no defenders. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
be a close one here. Close, but we got him. We got him. Alright, before we get any further here, oh, let's go get some more ham steak, huh? Speaking of which, that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is go here, and then here, and make sure everything's all repaired here, and we've got construction going on. of construction are right, good enough for now I gotta start building some more barracks that way I can max out the potential too right now be adding my own troops at this point Teutonius castle is completed Plenty of people to add here, eh? Especially with that siege camp in place now. There's a siege camp there. I don't necessarily want to do any more work on the exterior wall yet. Because I know we, that's where they'll hit me. So what we do want to do... Make sure we get bonuses there. That. I'm not sure where I want to place that though. That's the problem. So that we'll just have to uh, we'll have to do without. Meantime, so what I can do is throw a great tower in here. There, 
because of the freaking smelters. So I'm gonna have to delete them. Probably both of them, right here. Yeah. So we'll just delete them for now. So we can get this guy built. Means I'm going to be without some pitch for a bit. So I get them rebuilt. Actually, you know what I can do? I can, uh... I can probably rebuild them now. I wonder... I don't know if they'd fit here or not. That's the problem. I think they're a little bit too big. They're like three by three. They might be four by four. Yeah, they're four by four. Stick with that for now. I'll figure out where to build them back later. Snare or all squared there up, some repair. It definitely needs repair. Alright, there's that.
Ah, good enough for now. So, arrived. Nerolosa. Monument Rocks. Blue Hill. And Navajo Dam. Vanquished. Nerolosa. Vanquished Monument Rocks, Vanquished Blue Hill, and not quite vanquished in Navajo Dam yet, so it only arrived about three days ago in Navajo Dam. Of course, it just arrived not too long ago in Cortez. In the meantime, we're halfway there, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. And how big is this guy? It's not too bad for the Cortesian army. This guy, we haven't scouted him, have we? No, we did not, so let's go scout him. So we can send the Navajo Dam army after him. Ooh. Oh, we need some bread. This one. Okay, now where were we? Oh, yes. Laying down the law. Let's see. Let's take a look at all these attacks here, right? Excellent. And that's without cats. Had the pulse, that is.
go, halfway through. That's not bad at all. So possibly three days left, huh? So I'll be... I'll make it pretty much a full year of age one for the server. viable. All right then. Scooby, he used to be a former Illuminati project member. Now a member of House 13. Excellent. I think. Or was he always House 13? He might have always been House 13. The series early on, he might have been House 3 early on, like Diffie. And then, uh... That one is possibilities. That's all right. It's all about it's all about numbers right now. All about numbers. All right. I think that's all I need to take care. Of. Right. Okay. So this is B J Wallace saying thanks for watching, and until next time. 
which may possibly be the start of the second age. I will see you in game. <laughs>